everybody it's me doc here and i want to show you guys how to make a multicam video using final cut pro x now let me tell you about the setup here first so the setup is we had three iphone 4s's and my buddy here john leblanc playing guitar you can find him at, at john leblanc on twitter so this is the first iphone 4s here taking sort of the wide shot then we had another, uh, it's all handheld iPhone for us here, getting more of the intimacy of his face, a little bit close up in some of his hands. And then the camera that I was holding was mostly looking at the, the guitar itself, and I may have sweeped in and out to his face a couple times. Now, the last thing we had in this mix was we had an iPhone 3GS, which was set up sort of right on the table in front of him just to pick up the audio. Now... The secret is here in Final Cut Pro 10, as you can see, I've already uh, put this piece together here at the bottom. Let me, uh, let's see a little bit of that real quick. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how we did that. It's super, super easy using uh, Final Cut Pro 10 as long as you have the latest update, which at this point in time is 10.0.3. So what you do is you select all three of your clips and your audio clip, and then you go into the menu here and you say create new multicam clip. Now there's no, sh no keyboard shortcut for that just yet, but hopefully they'll eventually make one. Um, it's going to ask you some questions like for the name, and I'll call this YouTube, learn how to type. And um, you can do angle assembly. There's a couple of selections. You can do camera angle, camera name, and clips. I'll leave it at automatic. Same thing with ordering. You can pick time code. There is no time code. These were iPhone created, so I'll just leave that at automatic. And then there's um, angle synchronization. And again, for this particular case, we don't need it, so we'll leave it at automatic. I'm going to start the time code at zero. And then um, leave the clip parameters basically at 720. You could make it 1080 because these were all 4S's, but for the sake of YouTube, I'm going to leave that like that. And I like my audio on stereo instead of surround, and I always use 48 just so that it sounds really good. So go ahead and press OK. And it literally only takes Final Cut about 10 to 15 seconds to put this together. Now, this is a mac pro 8 core with only six gigs of ram in it so again not a super sonically powerful machine but not too junk um <clears throat> now all you need to do is find your the beginning of your clip let me uh, space this out just a little bit um as a matter of fact i'll make it even easier let's just take this whole piece and put it on the timeline just press e and that drops it down to the end of the timeline now as i look here here's the beginning part i don't need so i'm going to hit the b key to go to blade and i'm going to cut it and I'm gonna hit the A key to go back to my arrow and just delete that so here I have the very beginning of this clip so by selecting this clip all you need to do is go up into your menu and uh, look under window and bring up the thing that says show the angle viewer the angle viewer is going to show you all of your individual cameras so you can see my phone my friend Chris's phone my friend John Garcia phone so <clears throat> all we need to do is basically press play which I'm gonna put this clip back here at the beginning and uh, one important thing in this particular case we're letting the audio be the master so I have it set using this button here to only switch the video if you wanted to switch video and audio that'd be the first one and if you only wanted it to switch audio and not video it would be this one in this particular case I'm going to leave it on the middle one which is every time I click on one of these videos it's gonna collect that video so I'm just going to press play. As a matter of fact, let's start with his face. I'm going to go ahead and press play. And as the video plays, all you really need to do is click on the different clips that you want to switch in and out of. And it's super simple. You just click on the different angles as you want the video to switch to it. Simple as pie, it automatically picks those up and places them on a the timeline in the necessary location. So I'm going to go ahead and stop that. And just to show you how this all works, uh, what you would do is if you needed to edit your clip location, you could edit your clip location by dragging these little sliders back and forth. 
and it would basically change the duration of your cuts. Um, I like it the way it is because I've already done that, so I'll leave that alone. But theoretically, you can just go through this whole piece and make your necessary adjustments. Now, last thing you can do, if you would like to, is select your whole thing and come under Transitions and go ahead and insert all your transitions. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Command-T, which will put transitions in as you can see right now i didn't leave myself in no space um but that's because of the final clip so we'll go ahead and ignore that or you can manually drag them in by hand um just by picking it up over here from the transition window and like placing it in place and then you'll see there's a transition instead of a hard cut and like i showed you before this is the finished product again it was a super simple one minute video original song that john wrote just for the purposes of this video by the way and so i got to give a big shout out to my great musician friend john leblanc and i hope this sort of helps you learn how to do some multicam and i think the thing a lot of people aren't realizing is that you can totally multicam with just an iphone so it's super it's super simple what i'll also do is i'll post the video of uh john leblanc's like finished one piece i'll go ahead and post that at the end of this video so that you can watch it if you care to see it all the way through once again if you have any questions leave them in the comments please subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for watching this has been doc rock with another quick tutorial and aloha Okay, boom. So, hey, um, we're gonna go ingest these.